I've been thinking. <laughs> I celebrated my birthday recently. And I don't know why my voice is going. This isn't an emotional, well, maybe it is, I don't know. We will see, we'll see how it goes. I was recently celebrating my birthday with my family and I thought about like how I've changed over the years. And as I said to someone recently, I change like every few months, I feel like I'm a different person. And I suppose that's good because hey, personal growth. Hooray! <laughs> Gary C! I was thinking about my teenage years when I was obsessed with celebrity culture and I would champion these superstars and these pop stars and I was really into the charts and I knew all the chart positions and I worked in a shop where I sold music and film and video games and, and I did that for about five years and I was just so immersed in that world of celebrity and I went on all the um, like OK magazines and Heat magazines and I bought them and, and I was so like really involved in reality TV and I loved Big Brother for like many, many seasons, start to finish each time, just, just loved it. And I eventually got to the point, I think it was in my mid twenties that I realized that it didn't nourish me anymore. It just took away from me. And with my mental health issues as they were, I realized that I needed to find a new champion and as I got into my 30s, I started to realise the people around me were, were great for that. Like, they were my champions. And, and, and so much so at the end of my 20s, I poured myself into my friendships, into my sort of, the family I chose for myself. I poured myself into those friendships and, and you know, kept them close and guarded those friendships. But when those, some of those friendships broke down just because we grew apart, people moved, I realised that the person I should have been championing the whole time was myself. And it's only now that I'm like 41, I'm in my 40s, that I realise that if you don't have that foundation, you don't have that, that sense of stability, that, that belief in yourself or that care and kindness towards yourself, then it's very difficult to, to build on that. And I know that there's that classic like RuPaul line in Drag Race that's if you can't love someone else, I'm butchering it, but if you can't love someone else, you can't, like, like, can't love yourself, you can't love someone else, whatever the words are, I don't know. I've only watched like 16, 17 seasons of it. So my message to you today is to choose you. It's great to have these idols. Hey, I've seen the Mariah Careys and I've seen the Whitney's and everything in concert and I've met a few of them and all the rest of it. And it's great to have these idols, to idolise YouTubers, to, to feel like we know each other and, you know, to create a connection because this is what this was all about in, in the beginning. It was broadcast yourself and, and I did. I've been doing it since, well, I've said a million times since the end of 2006, so I've been here, I've, whatever could be said about me has been said, good, bad, the in-between, and I'm just here. I am the servant of YouTube, I enjoy this so much still, and even now, like, the excitement of putting on the lights and stuff, even though I don't do it that often because I'm lazy, but I, I have done it, and thanks for the great light in the softbox, only one softbox, couldn't be bothered to put the other one up. But anyway, I'm gonna start choosing me. And if that means not going to events and not going to things that I'm uncomfortable with or don't wanna do, then so be it. If it means cutting out certain people because of the way they treat me, so be it. I do think there comes a time where you do have to choose yourself. And I can't, I can't say that enough. I don't think you estimate just how strong you are. The fact that you're watching this video, the fact that you've sort of sought out somebody online that talks like this, it means that there's there's something there. We all have something, like a little crutch that gets us through. With me, it is my thunderstorm sounds. There's dust there. Oi! My thunderstorm sounds are my instrumentals of Disney songs on Spotify and, and things like that. But we all have our little crutches, so if this is your little crutch, this is your message that you needed to hear, then I am so pleased to be that that mouthpiece um, 
because choose you. I'm gonna try. And that's all we can do. That's all we can do. We can just try to not necessarily undo the bad behaviours that we have or the negative behaviours and the way we treat ourselves, but at least sort of try to reinforce some of the positive stuff. I've said before how I had a therapy session many years ago where the therapist, the, the therapist put a mirror up and said, look at yourself, and I couldn't, and I just burst into tears. And I realised at that point, I don't look at myself. Even when I'm filming these videos, I don't look in the viewfinder because I don't want to see what's there. It does make editing very difficult. I just listen, really. I'm, it's all a bit of a blur. But maybe I should start looking at, at myself. And I feel like I'm self-aware enough in my personality and, and my behaviour. I just feel like in terms of my own face, I don't really know it. And that is sad. But now, at this age, I feel like I've I've already been with this face for like, well, not this exact face, but for 40 odd years. And you, you never know, it could be another 40 odd years. So you better get used to it. And I will leave you on that. You better get used to it. <laughs> get comfortable with yourself because you could be with yourself a very long time. And on that note, choose you. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Mwah.